We work so you can play. Hey everybody, here's a tutorial for how I painted up some orc boys for Warhammer Fantasy. Uh, as you can see here, I got a big pile of boys, um, and I'm gonna kind of start midway through the painting process. All I've done here is some Narlock green on top of a black spray paint with some uh, bolt gun metal on the metal. There. That's all there is. Um, actually, this might be the only picture you see. This is the standard bear. I added a bit of extra weight to his base because he kept falling over, but we'll get to that later. And I did some conversions, and I'll talk about those as I go through. So yeah, like I said, uh, assembled everybody, spray painted them black, and uh, we got some Narlock green and bolt gun metal. Um, that's actually the head from one of the uh, one of the new boar boys. Um, not meant for the boar or the boys kits, but anyways. Uh, here I put them on a, in a, a long base. This is just two guys, two for one special, um, 25 millimeter by 50 millimeter. Put two guys on there. They'll take up two spots in the movement tray. I also did the Animosity Orcs with this set, and they're just going to take the spot of two Orcs. And uh, so here I started to put some Scorpion Green on top of things here. Otherwise, it's just the black and bolt gun. And a bit of coffee grinds in the bottom, and I used um, some green stuff to stick them to the base. Here we go with uh, after the, the green highlight, I got some. Uh, what is that there? That's uh, Calthan Brown and Adaptus Battle Gray, like a, an overbrush highlight kind of thing. And that's what I'm doing with all these guys here. Just a really, really fast kind of dry brush sort of thing. This is another one of the, uh, that's a hand from the Boar Boys kit and another head. This is a knob head from the uh, 40k knobs um, on the uh, champion for this unit. And this is a piece from the uh, standard bear war boss set and base from the Warner Basin set. Anyways, this guy's got the Calthan Brown, um, Scorpion Green highlights, and Bolt Gun Metal. There. Some of the guys got more highlights than others. Um, okay, now I've done the black wash on here, and that's kind of muted down those uh, the highlights. Um, starting on here's the scab red. It's going to be on these guys. Uh, if you've seen any of my tutorials before, I do my night goblins with the red cloaks, sort of a deep red. Um, you'll see how these guys turn out. So they just match the rest of my army. Got a night goblin up there. So that there's already been given a black wash, and uh, maybe even the devil in light. I usually do my Silvers with Devil in Might and Bad Ab Black, and the black would have got the Bad Ab Black and brown just the Devil in Might. And just going over uh, Scorp uh, Scab scab Red on all the uh, bits I'm going to do red. Not everybody's going to have red on them, just some guys. Uh, this guy here now has the uh, uh, highlight done with Blood Red, you know, George Shot Blood Red, and that's going to be the same up there. Same with these guys, just quick, fast highlight with Blood Red. Uh, doing a bit of uh, Beastal Brown dry brushing on all the brown bits. Uh, obviously some of these are harder to get, so it's kind of an overbrush slash dry brush technique. You see these guys coming together, then the teeth there, bleach bone. A um, bit more highlighting here. I'm going to do blaze orange around the edges. You see the teeth coming together. Again, that's just a Beastal Brown highlight. These are all coffee grinds on here. Scorched Brown. Um, actually, Scorched Brown mixed with uh, matte medium. What I use as a glue, and then just dip it in the coffee grind, let it dry, and do a dry brush of uh, Beastel Brown. Again, you can see a bit of the, of the orange, blaze orange there, kind of goes on semi transparent. Oh, and I probably forgot to mention the uh, the flesh also had a Thraka green wash. But half the guys I gave um, Scorpion green highlights, the other half I ended up using a Gretchen green. Um, just Scorpion green doesn't go on super uh, opaque. So it sometimes takes two coats, and so for the sake of time, I used Gretchen Green because it's one of the foundations, and it goes on real nice. Um, I believe this is actually an Ogre Kingdom's banner, but I thought it looked good for the orcs, and it got a quick sketch of some sort of skull face. Again, same same as the reds before, just uh, scab red, blood red, and blaze orange. There you go. You can see uh, sort of come together. The big boss and the banner bear both have uh, bases from the Warhammer basing kit. And I just did those up with, um, since they're stone, they got their Reaper stone triad colors, so the stone shadow, stone gray, and then uh, polished stone. These guys, it's just a, a dab of um, matte medium with uh, some static grass stuck on it. And this, this is what the coffee grinds look like when it's dry brushed. Getting finished up. So, so these Animosity Orcs are just going to take a spot in there. 
And I actually use uh, another filler for this unit. Um, you'll see that in a minute. You see there's the basing done on that guy and that guy. The animosity guys in that corner. Um, they can actually go anywhere, but that's where I put them. So I'm just going to show you quickly the uh, all the way around these guys. See how they kind of come together as a unit. Um, you know, they probably could have had their boots down a different color and stuff on here, but once they're in a big unit, you don't really see them. All you see is these uh, these weapons sticking up or whatever, so that's the uh, that's what you're going to see on the tabletop. That's that section of two guys there. I could have done maybe units of four or more of those, but I didn't have any other bases. Well, I got other double bases, but the cavalry bases, but that's all I got sitting around. I think the animosity orcs help add a bit of dynamic uh, storyline to this group of guys. Here they are here. Um, no conversions at all, just stuck them on the base with some green stuff and uh, glued them all together. And I don't know, nice uh, dynamic pose there on them. This one guy being grabbed by the head and that little guy put his dukes up. This guy's arm is actually down here, which is kind of a weird setup, but whatever. Sorry, blurry photo. There we go. This is one of the uh, wound markers from the Battle for Skull Pass set, sitting on top of a piece of cork that I got from the dollar store. A cork coaster actually just broken up, and then some of the Warhammer uh, sand there painted brown. It's painted kind of a gray with some static grass. Um, what I've done is I've taken a bunch of stuff like this, and I'm going to use them as unit fillers. So if I ever don't have quite enough guys. This will take a spot of one guy in a unit. Uh, maybe you know, for different games I want to take a different number of guys and don't happen to have the right number painted up or whatever the case may be. Um, I'm also doing that same sort of thing with my Skaven army I'm building. Uh, so this is the the champion on the uh, basing kit piece of uh, whatever, resin, look like stone. This is actually uh, army builder Highland Tuft. It's a 6mm tuft that comes in the thing to glue glued on, it already comes pretty puffed up or whatever, like a piece of grass. Um, like I mentioned before, this is from the uh, Warboss plastic kit, and this is from a 40k knob head. So here's the uh, standard bearer, and that's the, I believe that's a banner from the Ogre Kingdom's, uh, one of their boxes. I found that in the bits box over at Mini Wargaming. Uh, one of the bases from the Warhammer basing kit, it's a resin base uh, top, I guess it is. And maybe there's another picture. This is a head. That's one of the heads from the Orc Boar Boys set. So I thought I'd mix it up a bit and mix those in. And uh, everything else in that guy is pretty standard. So here's just one of the random orcs again. Boar Boys head, Boar Boys hand. I just, those ones come just with the hand included. So I chopped off the hand on that arm and put that one on. Again, just to try to mix up these, uh, the boys. They had different weapons. Another weapon from the uh, Boar Boys set. Same with this, just chopped off a hand. Ditto here. These guys are some double base. This is probably, the, I think that's the champion hand for the Boar Boy set. Here we go, this is just a shot of 20 orcs. What they look like. A couple more of these. Really cool weapons in the Boar Boy set, and you get lots of extras, and I did up a whole bunch of them, so I thought I'd use them in, with this Orc Boys unit. This one here actually is just from there up, so that was that big uh, mace type weapon. Let's chop it off there and swap it at the top. Anyways, so hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to post comments. Check out my channel over Mini Wargaming and uh, enjoy.